The New Testament brings us the gospel, or the good news, of Jesus' coming, death, and resurrection, and our salvation in him. As God's messengers, angels are often the ones to deliver this news to the world. Fear not, the angels tell the shepherds, tending their flocks on the first Christmas. I bring you tidings of great joy, which shall be for all people. But even before that epic announcement, angels played important roles at pivotal times. The archangel Gabriel visited a priest named Zacharias, whose wife Elizabeth had never been able to bear children. Gabriel told him that despite her advanced years, Elizabeth would bear a son. That child would one day become John the Baptist. Gabriel also visited Mary, announcing to her that she would bring forth a son and name him Jesus. He shall be great and shall be called the Son of the Most High. Later, angels appeared to Joseph in dreams, telling him how to protect the Holy Family from King Herod, who was intent on killing all newborn boys. Just before he was to begin his ministry, Jesus asked John to baptize him. Then he withdrew into the wilderness for 40 days. There the devil tempted him, offering him riches and power. But Jesus rebuffed the evil one. When he was alone again, angels came to minister to him. Perhaps the most famous angel in the New Testament appears three days after the crucifixion. Jesus had been laid in a tomb behind a great rock. Then, according to Matthew, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and rolled by the stone and sat upon it. When women came to visit the tomb, they were shocked to find it empty. The angel then calmed the women, telling them Christ had risen from the dead. Centuries have passed since these amazing events happened, but angels are still with us to guide and protect us, and that's truly good news.